So we've been doing a tumor ablation here for quite a long time, mainly with ultrasound guidance since about 2005. And what we found was the number of patients we did each year has just grown year on year, just because people realize that ablation is a really effective treatment that's minimally invasive and uh, you can do it on sicker patients. And that's where the CAS1IR system has come in and really helped us because what this enables us to do is to identify the tumor accurately, navigate to it using the aiming device, putting the ablation needle or probe into it. And then crucially, you can check where you are and check that you're happy where the needle has gone. And finally, once you've done the ablation, even more crucially, you can validate what you've done and that you're happy you've burnt an adequate amount of tissue. And there's been several cases where having done that, I've then made a, a decision based on that technology to go back and re-ablate the tumour as a result. So the impact of uh, having the CAS1 system at Adam Brooks Hospital means that we can deliver this minimally invasive treatment. Many patients can be treated as a day case or just require an overnight stay. And it enables us to deliver effective, potentially curative, cancer treatment for patients with liver cancer who otherwise we would not have been able to treat with curative intent. And of course in the future we expect to see the role of the CAS1 IR system growing to other tumour types and other organs, potentially kidney, potentially lung and potentially bone. Initially there is a capital cost of getting the equipment and also the setup costs with it as well as the CT scanner time and anaesthesia time etc. But these costs are offset by the fact that you're doing a treatment that if it works as expected, effectively cures the patient of that lesion, of that cancer. So all the follow-on costs or the repeat treatment that you have to do after a period of time or chemotherapy costs or immunotherapy costs, they're all offset against that. So it's a kind of one-off cost at the beginning but over time, you would expect that the economic benefit is clear. The hospital, in conjunction with uh, Adam Brooks Charitable Trust, had uh, agreed to fund uh, the purchasing of the equipment. I was absolutely overjoyed because I knew that in real terms, this meant a lot to a lot of patients, not just the patients we'd already treated, but the many patients that we can now go on and treat. And I want to reassure them that what, what they've done here will save a lot of lives in the coming years.